All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're continuing on with the Strike Industries build. And I got something really special to the guys over there at Optics Planet sent out to the channel to test out. Now, this is a Timney trigger, as you can see. Timney triggers making shooters great since 1946. Laborious standards, instant upgrade built by hand in the USA. All right, every expert, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so anyway, we all recognize this. Timmy triggers are really, really good. Now, I have probably three or four of these guys in my rifles, and I have never had any complaints about them. Uh, and one of the reasons being is because my first, very first deer rifle, my father installed a Timmy trigger in it. So that's where I learned about Timmy triggers many, many moons ago. Now, this guy right here is new to the market, and I'll uh, leave a link down below uh, and uh, let you guys know what and where and how to get it. As a matter of fact, what's going to happen is somebody's going to leave a comment. I'm going to pin that comment, and it's going to be right there at the very beginning. So anyway, this is the Timmy Triggers Impact. Impact. The Impact. Timmy Triggers. And we're going to put it in this guy right here. And I'm in the process of putting this lower together. So uh, one of the things is I just wanted to introduce this to you because well we got to go so what i'm going to do is we'll go ahead and install this thing take a look at it uh, Hold on. all right take a look at the insides it's machined aluminum cnc all the way through you got to look at that trigger kind of like the way it looks because it's beveled on the edges hold on zoom in there you go you can see all the way across there curved trigger I'm getting into the flat face triggers, but uh, when they sent this to me, I didn't really have an option on it. And the way you install it is you just set it in there. You got your uh, hammer pin and your trigger pin, and you just tighten up the two little uh, screw nuts that are right down in there. Very simple, very easy. So let's go ahead and install this, and I'll be right back. And what we're going to do is we'll test the weights. We're really looking forward to this thing and check the reset. Here we go. Stay by. So one of the things I want to point out, now that we got this guy put together, uh, always on the lower parts kit, and of course this is the Strike Industry lower parts kit, uh, don't ever tighten these screws on your safety selector switch, but uh, make sure you put some blue Loctite on those and just snug them up good and let them set up. All right, so now we've got this trigger installed. Um, one of the things I did notice is the very uh, unique similarities of the velocity trigger and that you have a double set screw. So if you're using the, the impact, this guy right here, note that there are a set of screws in it. You need to back those up so that it will let these pins line up through the holes in the frame of the trigger. Once you get that done, snug those down. Then you're going to take said Allen wrench here and these two set screws and install them on top of the set screws that are already snugged up to the bottom of your receiver plate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then what we'll do is we will test this trigger out for weight and also reset and pull and how crisp it is and get a good impression on it. Here we go. Stand by. All right, guys, we got this thing fully installed now. And let me give you a real quick rundown of the full rifle itself. That's that new oppressor deal, and we'll do a range review on that. But check this thing out. So it's kind of like the uh, Surefire Warden, but it pops on and off. And then you've got the Venom, or whatever you call that muzzle brake on there, and that's really nice. The only problem with this guy is it weighs about 10 ounces, so it changes the balance of the rifle from center point right here to about right there. But I imagine I'm not using this unless I'm going to be sitting in a range and, the, you know, these guys right here are loud. But anyway, let's do a real quick run through. Here we go. Of the rifle. There's that uh, really cool looking um, base plate system with that Viper. The Viper. Anyway, let's go around the other side. And we'll do a full blown review out there, but my good friend. Okay, got a K9. I want you to watch this. That's the flex. There's enough flex in there, but it's the barrel flexing. And that must, this, this thing does not flex at all. You tighten it up here and here. And then I guess you push this in and pull this up. And there's a tightening thing here. And I'm not going to mess with it right now. <laughs> but in any case, we're here for a trigger. Yes. Uh, also, just real quickly, guys, I'm gonna, there's a link down in the thing, 5% uh, off at Optics Planet for all this stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and set it, crank this back, 
Uh, I've done some preliminary testing with the trigger as it sits right now, and I am very impressed. I always pull about a quarter inch from the bottom. 2.82 ounces. Let's run three just to see. And again, this is a brand new one. There's 1.1. Two point nine. All right, it's all over the board. But let me show you something. Here's the reset. That's it. Very nice. Again. So that's it. The Timmy trigger. This is the impact. The impact. The impact. We started naming them those crazy things. But in any case, I'm real pleased with the trigger. I'm really happy with this rifle. Uh, and, and we'll do a full-blown review on it. But as of right now, without this thing right here, she is sitting at 7 pounds, 4.3 ounces. And that's that's a hefty beast, but that's an 18-inch barrel as well. All right, guys, that's it. The Timmy Trigger, the Impact. There's a link down below to Optics Planet. Use KB32 TAC for your 5% discount and on basically everything you see on this rifle. Isn't that cool? Look at that thing. I'm digging the handguard. Ergonomics are really, really nice. But anyway, that's it. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes in 5.56 at 3,250 feet per second. Let's go to boy 32. I'm out.